What's up everyone, Drew here. We're going to be showing you guys on how to downgrade iOS 6 back down to iOS 5.1.1. I will have links down below in the video description where you guys can download iOS 5.1.1 for your following device. So definitely make sure you guys check that out because you will need iOS 5.1.1 for this downgrade to work. So let's go ahead and begin the downgrade tutorial. So what you need is obviously your following device and go ahead and plug it up to your computer. But before we begin, I do want to show you guys that I am running iOS 6 on my iPhone 4S. So let's open up settings. Let's go into general and let's go into about. And right there it is, version iOS 6 right there itself. So now let's go ahead and show you guys on how to downgrade. So if you're on a Mac, you want to hit Options and Restore. If you're on a Windows, hit Shift and Restore, and you, then you should be good to go. So let's hit Options and Restore together at the same time. You should get this window. That is a good thing. And you want to make sure you save your firmware to your desktop. That way so you guys can find it a lot easier. So here's iOS 5.1.1. Click on Open. And then here it says iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 5.1.1 click restore and then we should see it happen now it's just extracting the software and there we go our iPhone has been restored to factory settings and we should be on iOS 5.1.1 go ahead and click OK and there we go guys our iPhone should be on iOS 5.1.1 you can go ahead and start setting everything up just like normal so that's pretty much it guys, that's how you downgrade your iPhone 4S or any other device back to iOS 5.1.1. So if this helped you guys out, definitely make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, drop all of your comments down below, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more up to date news. All those links are down below in the video description. Until next video guys, we'll see you guys in the next one.